To respond to climate change, all states will have to transition to low-emission, climate-resilient economic growth. Developing countries need project financing and support to make this shift. We realize that there are thousands of projects in the, in the South, in, in non-annex one countries, that are extremely worthwhile. But these projects do not see the light of the day because the risk-reward profile is not exactly there. And so we are using this capacity of creating unique, unprecedented coalitions of partners and being able to provide any kind of grant, non-grant instruments to share part of the risk. On the ground, it, it is, these are projects that are supposed to be not business as usual, but they should transcend beyond uh, the work that we do right now in terms of building resilience of countries, ensuring that uh, people's livelihood are also improved, uh, and also ensuring that the emission reductions that we, we reduce in the atmosphere are really big. If you have somebody living in drought uh, area, it means they would be able to have enough water, they would be able to have, grow crops that are resilient and resistant to low water availability. It also means that they would have light at affordable price, electricity services at affordable prices. On the ground, many countries are making strides to direct investments away from climate vulnerable assets. Grenada went through two devastating hurricanes in 2004-2005, Hurricanes Ivan and Emily, which damaged, destroyed 95% of our buildings. So we had a strong Build Back Better program. However, the continuing threats that we're facing and new threats, not just from hurricanes, but also sea level rise, um, other slow onset events, we're having to take a revised approach again identifying those key areas of vulnerability and it ranges from those, um, those assets down to our households, how we build our homes, how we can build greater resilience in our properties at a private level, our public buildings, our schools, our hospitals. Um, Grenada has just recently um, upgraded one of its hospitals to be the first climate smart and resilient hospital within the region. Moving on from carbon-intensive development is crucial for enhancing climate action. We have oil and gas on the ground that really we don't want countries to utilize, but we have to invest in alternatives that would provide people the livelihood and utilize services that would replace them in a climate resilient world. 2020 will be an important year for taking stock of progress towards meeting the Paris Agreement objectives. Um, the world is watching us. The Green Climate Fund has all the potential and needs to be a success story that it can catalyze so much more uh, resources uh, from the available financial sources all over the world. And uh, it also has the potential to create uh, success stories through what you're funding and through what you're doing. And we need those success stories on every continent and basically uh, in, in, uh, in every country to spread and uh, spread the news that uh, going away from fossil fuels is not a sacrifice. It's basically the salvation of our planet.